I didn't look at all the Ritter uh, tombstones. It's no use. He doesn't. Can you take me to a phone? I don't think he'd be interested in that. These coffins are really old. And they're all shot in Jaegers. And they're creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Martin Ritter, 1190. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's not him. It's not Wolfgang. Jurgen Ritter. It's not Jurgen either. Nothing here that really gives me much help. Uh, huh, okay. Well, for lack of a better idea, let's go back to the castle. In games like this, there are often times when you have to do like one tiny little thing and then that'll make something else happen that allows you to advance the story. It can get kind of frustrated if you get frustrating if you get stuck. I don't have anything to say to her right now. I don't have anything to say. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Is this guy done yet, maybe? Yes, he is done. Ooh, he left his tools. Can I look at them? Yes, I can. Ha ha. Anything in here I can use? I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need... I don't think I need that. I don't think I need... I don't think... Now, what did I need a screwdriver for? I have no idea what I need a screwdriver for. Not a clue. Oh, what's this? That was the definite sound of a click. Boom! Secret passage! <laughs> oh, you still got it, Kronos. Don't like the ominous music. Someone's been using this passageway. Kinda think I wanna save. Got an exit here and an exit here. Someone get that cat off the piano. Okay. Huh. 
How convenient. When the lord of the manor is slipping through the passageway to his amorous adventures, he can pick up a few flowers. Nice. An emergency exit. I guess that makes sense if you're fighting the legions of darkness. <laughs> the castle looks huge from here. They've got more rooms left to restore than I thought. I think it'll be quicker to go back the way I came. The castle looks huge. Well, this was productive. Let's go back and try the other way. Might be useful to know for later that there's a emergency way out. What about this way? Let me guess. Gerda's bedroom. What a surprise. Oh my. What do we have in here? Is that Wolfgang? Yeah, I think that's Wolfgang. That must be Wolfgang. Something to remember him by, I guess. Hmm. She must have cared deeply about him. Do I need that? No. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be much here. Can I look at anything other than that photo? No, apparently not. <sighs> There's gotta be something in here. I can't go out that way. I don't want Gerda to know I'm in here. So I just go back? Ah, okay. Maybe she's got something in here. There we go, a key. Beautiful. Grace, you sneaky bitch. Uh, you kind of need to make your escape that way, Grace. Come on. Get his clothes. Isn't she just as cute as a button? <laughs> she does not like her. At all. <laughs> Alright, I believe the key is going to be for the library. There we go. Doesn't she look pleased with herself? Schottenjäger Library. Uh, shouldn't you hold on to that? Or put it back where it was? Wow, that is not a lot of books. I kind of expected more. Biographies. Looks like they're mostly about Germans. Biography. This is one of my favorite songs in the whole game. Books on the occult. Here we go. Vampires, witchcraft, ghosts, Asian spirits. Hmm. Lycanthropes. There we go. Lycanthrope, AKA Fairwolf. Hello. How did you get in here? Uh oh. Busted. Oh, hi. <laughs> Time to have it out. How did you unlock the door? Would you believe magic? You bitch. Oh, I see. All right. Look, 
Let's just drop all the pretense, okay? Uh-oh. Obviously, Gloves I've found the passageway. Off. I know what's been going on in this little Alpinian love nest, and really, I couldn't care less. If you want to screw around with your employer, that's none of my business. But what I won't put up with is assisting the Schottenjäger crap. I gave up school to work on this stuff because I thought it was important. I'm doing the research that Gabriel wanted, and so help me, I'm going to be doing more than just research this time around. And I'm going to just sit around and wait for him to call and give me permission. And if you don't like it, it's just too damn bad! Arr! Okay, fine. You do the damn research. Come on, Grace, really? Damn it. Oh, now you figure it out. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. The Journal of Victor Ritter. <laughs> I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant. Let's take a look at what we picked up here. Lycanthropes Lore and Law by Jennings. Chapter 3. Lycanthropy, The Ways of the Wolf. Chapter 3. Lycanthropy, the ways of the wolf. There are two categories of werewolf cases, false or lycanthropic disorder cases and genuine werewolf cases. Lycanthropic disorder. Lycanthropic disorder is a mental condition in which the subject, called a lycanthrope, believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims, Otherwise man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds, such as howling. Werewolves and Immortality Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical diseases due to the constant regeneration of their physical tissue. They can therefore be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. The Mind of a Werewolf Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shape-shifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the Lyconia Curse, being bitten by a werewolf, and being born to a werewolf. In each case, the blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse, or bite, is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood. Once he does, his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him. Even without tasting of human blood, however, as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul, it cannot enter into heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death. Werewolf Packs Like real wolves, werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pack often leads them away from their secretive lifestyles into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to a werewolfry for companionship. This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. 
Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth, or curse. In other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called Beta Werewolves because they became werewolves for the bite of the Alpha and carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Alpha and Beta Werewolves the relationship between alpha and beta werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope. As long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. Remember it is that. important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since betas and alphas share the same common blood, an alpha cannot physically harm a beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. However, if a beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the alpha. Okay, this is almost over. Sorry for all the reading. Symptoms of werewolf free. When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality, even physical appearance. Therefore, Look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing violence, increasing aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness, and other bizarre behavior. Unfortunately, over time, these symptoms can be brought under control, so do not rely upon them exclusively. A good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society Manos del Sol of Brazil. A rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to a high-ranking officer in the army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with a man's capture. Manos del Sol? Men of the Sun? I wonder if they're like Schattenjägers, only Brazilian. A good example... Okay, this one looks over. How about that journal? And the letter. Let's definitely look at the letter. Letter to Ludwig II. Ludwig II of Bavaria, I believe that says. 4th of March, 1864. To King Ludwig II, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. Why is it in English? I beg your forgiveness for my forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety and thus have no time for subtlety. I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. The Black Wolf, eh? I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Hmm. So it looks like this stuff's been going on for a while. Didn't, uh, didn't Werner say that it was in the 17th century? Or maybe it was the 1700s, I can't remember. And this was in 18, the 1800s. Huh. Here's Victor Ritter's journal, 1720 to 1753. Well, he didn't live long, if that's a lifespan. Oh gosh, more reading. Sorry, guys. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. 
For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, the beast himself took the bait. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, black and、wolf. I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenegger, 20 April 1750. Okay, so that must be the incident with the werewolf that Werner was talking about. Nothing else in here. Okay,、uh, sorry for all that reading. There's really, I mean, all of that was very important, I swear. What's this? Oh, shit. I wonder if Christian Ritter's journal is here. Ooh, I've gotten a lot of points lately. Important stuff. Christian Ritter, born 10 January 1820, ordained as Schottenjäger, died 4 March 1864. March is March. The 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Looks like I got a date. I got a date to check out back in town. Looks like biographies here. <laughs> That's the only I date I ever have. I wonder if there's anything on. Yes, Ludwig. Konig von Bayern. Konig Ludwig. Sein Leben und sein Sieg. Die letzten Tage des Konig Ludwig II. Hmm. I didn't catch that. German. That's not much help. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. Looks like biographies here. I wonder if there's anything on. Yes, Ludwig, Konig von. Okay, so that's all in German, so she can't do much with it. I'm not sure what other case books would be relevant.